So I originally wasn't going to talk about this because I generally tend to avoid engaging in or endorsing celebrity worship. However, Bernie Sanders received a really, really awesome endorsement that, you know, wasn't just from someone who is powerful and influential, but this endorsement was actually really meaningful and just well said. So the Incredible Hulk has decided to endorse Bernie Sanders. Of course, I'm talking about Mark Ruffalo, and this is the video that he released, and I'm hoping that this will actually help Bernie Sanders. Because what he says here, the case that he makes for Bernie Sanders is just so fantastic. And people listen to what celebrities like Mark Ruffalo say, which is why I think this matters and why I'm hoping this does actually have a huge impact. Nonetheless, let's watch it and then I'll talk about it a little bit when we come back. The one person that, that just keeps uh, coming up to me and popping out to me is Bernie Sanders. The key issues that, that most of the, the leaders in the field are either espousing or working around the edges are healthcare, not taking money from big corporations and PACs, fighting climate change, some sort of debt relief for college students, free education. People considered those things to be pie in the sky in 2016, right? Now they are the norm because Bernie stood and walked into those, into those issues that he knew were the right issues for the American working class. So I proudly and humbly throw my support to Bernie Sanders. He will make an excellent and historic president in the very moment we are ready for it and need it most. He is the original progressive. In my humble opinion, he has earned it. We need a movement leader. We need a movement organizer. We need a leader who's actually one of us. And Bernie is one of us. And he's always been one of us. Uh, of course, you know, I, I, I go way back with Bernie Sanders. Um, and I still love the guy and I love what he's doing. I grew up in, um, in a factory town, what was probably one of the biggest industrial hubs in the United States at the turn of the century, which is Kenosha, Wisconsin. I'm a uh, second generation Italian American. I grew up in those working class neighborhoods where my neighbors worked at American Motors or Anchor Hawking or Anaconda Brass. I saw those companies close down and I saw my community devastated. The thing about the working class people that I grew up with was they had a real kind of moral center to them. I think that's partially why Bernie res resonates with me because he, he, feels, uh, he feels like those people. I believe in him and he is the people that I grew up with. He is those working class people. And I know that he's got their backs because that's who he is. That's where he came from. I had $500,000 in debt I had an acoustic neuroma, which was a benign cancerous growth um, that uh, sits in, on the base of the brain in the ear canal, auditory canal. And I lost my hearing. And I was in the hospital uh, next to people who had much worse things than me, who the nurses were coming in and making sure that they could pay for their hospital stay. I saw firsthand how devastating that is. If I wasn't lucky, I'd be, I'd be doomed. Healthcare is an absolute human right, especially if we're living in the richest country in the world. Bernie's ethos is us, not me. He knows that his power is derived from us. He'll be the first to tell you that this is not about me, it's about you. And he's not gonna leave us on the White House lawn once he's in that office. He's gonna take this momentum to push through the changes that we all know that need to be made. He's the original progressive, he's OP. <laughs> So listen, if you endorse someone who you know is going to raise your taxes, that says a lot about your character. Like, I actually have a lot of respect for Mark Ruffalo because a lot of celebrities, they like to seem like they are woke, for lack of a better word, and, you know, they're not. They're concerned about their own bottom line. They want to increase their wealth. You know, they, they love the comfortable lives that they live, and they don't want anyone to eat into, you know, the wealth that they have. So for someone like Mark Ruffalo to endorse Bernie Sanders, uh, you know, 
I respect that. I really respect that. Now, he makes phenomenal points. He says that all of the policies that politicians are running on now to basically prove to people that they're progressive, these were ideas that were popularized by Bernie Sanders in 2016. He's the LP, as Mark Ruffalo put it. Now, on top of that, he says, if I wasn't lucky, I'd be doomed with regard to health care. Understanding that he's in a really privileged position, but even if he's in that position where he has money and he'll never go bankrupt due to a lack of health care, I mean, he was able to see firsthand how people who were in the same room as him in the same hospital were asked about whether or not they would be able to pay the bill. So, I mean... Some people just have empathy that others don't have. Mark Ruffalo is clearly someone with human empathy. But I mean, if you don't have empathy, if that lacks and it's just not something that's instinctual for you, then you do have to see this firsthand. Like you have to experience this level of suffering in order to understand why people need things and why we should put money and resources into helping people get those things, even if you never are going to benefit from that, right? And this is something that I think the left has that the right never has. When it comes to, you know, particular issues such as LGBTQ rights, they don't ever talk about, you know, expanding civil rights unless it affects them personally. Uh, Dick Cheney, he is basically one of the worst human beings on the planet, but he was in favor of LGBTQ rights because his daughter is a lesbian. And there's countless other examples, you know, conservatives unlike liberals, don't have that empathy automatically. So unless they experience some type of adversity, they're never going to endorse a policy that isn't going to benefit them because that's against their worldview. It's about, you know, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps and making sure that you take care of yourself and don't let the government give you anything, yada, yada, yada. So if you, you know, fuck up or if life gives you a bad deck, then, you know, it doesn't matter. You're on your own. But the progressive mantra is we are in this together. Yo-yo versus wit. We're in this together versus you're on your own. Um, and if you're going to live in a society, then why should we allow people to fall through the cracks? It's just, it shouldn't happen. That's the thing. It shouldn't happen. So in a long-winded way, I'm saying I'm really thankful that people like, you know, Mark Ruffalo and other celebrities like Cardi B, they use their life experience, you know, as working class Americans to acknowledge that, other people are still struggling in spite of the fact that they made it. And yes, even though they made it and they're now millionaires, that doesn't necessarily mean that that is going to be the same story that, you know, will happen to everyone else. That's not realistic. The American dream is dead. And we need to acknowledge that reality and stop living in fantasy world that one day we're going to be billionaires. So we shouldn't tax billionaires. You're not going to be a billionaire. You're probably never even going to be anywhere close to being a millionaire. You'd be lucky if you make $100,000 in a year in your life. So acknowledge that increasing taxes on the wealthy is good and it's not going to impact 99% of the population. So I'm glad that there are people who kind of put their own self-interest aside and they acknowledge, you know what, we need to implement social safety net programs for the greater good. That's fantastic. Now, because I feel like the tone of the show as of late has become increasingly negative, I want to take some time to kind of go over some Things that will put a smile on your face, hopefully. I want to look at Mark Ruffalo and Bernie Sanders memes. So this is probably my all-time favorite. Find someone who looks at you the way Mark Ruffalo looks at Bernie Sanders. This is like my all-time favorite meme, I think. It's just, it's so wholesome and is genuinely heartwarming. Um, another one here. Noticing something is wrong with our political system. Being angry about our political system. Organizing for Bernie. Absolutely. You have uh, Hulk Bernie crushing capitalism. And then you have this one. Mark Ruffalo fervently endorses Bernie Sanders. So let's make sure Bernie wins because you wouldn't like Mark when he's angry. It's so wholesome and I love it. So look, if one of the people who were instrumental in defeating Thanos is saying that Bernie Sanders is the fighter that we need, you know, I think that we should listen to his judgment here. He knows what he's talking about. The Hulk endorsed Bernie Sanders. And I'm going to trust the Incredible Hulk.